I have this rip with IMSI Design. Today I'm going to do a general overview of TurboCAD. We've got lots to go over, so I'll start right away. First off is the TurboCAD user interface. The user interface is made up of menus, toolbars, and palettes. Most commands are in the menus. And most of the drawing and modification uh, tools are in both the palettes, and, uh, the menus, and the toolbars. The toolbars fly out and can be pulled off. And most of the drawing and editing tools are on the left and right side. And by default, the palettes are on the right side. So you can cycle through the different palettes down here with these tabs. Now all these are customizable. I can go and add whatever commands I'd like to the different toolbars. And I can do the same for menus as well. If there's a tool I want, a tool or command I want in a specific menu, I can change it around. Next up are the snaps. The snaps are used to draw from different points. For example, we can go from the midpoint to the end point. That's using the midpoint and vertex snap. Now see these are the auxiliary lines which allow you to into say where this you know the, this and this will intersect. I can draw lines from there as well. And now the other part of the uh, snaps is the seeks. The seeks are the single equivalent key entry and that's really what makes TurboCAD TurboCAD. So right now I've got the, the, uh, the running snaps turned off and I can still snap from different uh, objects to different objects using the single key uh, equivalents. So from the end point, that's going to be a vertex. I'm just going to hit the V, v key, and I'm going to do midpoint here. I can go from the uh, vertex to a quadrant. And so that's really what, uh, for me, what separates TurboCAD from a lot of other CAD programs is using those seeks. Now, so you can also use the seeks to move stuff around, the seeks and snaps to move stuff around. That brings us to the handle-based editing. Now the handle-based editing consists of these of the reference point and these rotation handles. I can also the I'm using the select tool to grab these, and the select tool has two different modes, which changes how the handle-based editing appears. So now it's in 2D mode, I only have one handle. So I can use this to this rotation handle to rotate the object. I can grab the reference point to move it around. I can move the reference point around. Oops. And I can uh, snap the different objects together using the the seeks or the running snaps. Now another important part of the UI is the design director. The design director is where you control the layers. I can create new layers. I can group layers. I can control the lights in a 3D drawing here. I can control different cameras, work planes. There's a lot we can do in the design director. 